I am Donald. And you're watching 15 minutes. All right, are you ready with the timer? All right, one, two, three, go. You know, I think what's, you know, I, 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 I pro probably, you must, you, you, you will probably agree with me when I say that, you know, for artists, um, to stay in the comfort zone is never a good place. Yeah. You know, we always, I think the best, as the way I, you know, I, I, I love challenging myself and, uh, you know, always looking for challenges. Uh, because I truly believe that, you know, as artists, we always create, you know, we all look to get inspired and inspired. And, and, you know, when you, if you're in your comfort zone and you always do something that you feel really like comfortable with it, then you don't really revolve, evolve, you don't really grow. So the fact that, you know, I, you're an amazing artist I mean, the fact that, you know, you chose to challenge yourself. And that, you know, that led you to, to do this painting, which I find amazing. Probably you, a perfectionist, you know, you, you know your, your mistakes and you know, the, the, the more you do it, the more you're going to, you know, become better at it. But I think it's, um, I mean, it's amazing, you know, for the first result. And, and again, I, bravo. I mean, I'm all... Uh, I so agree with you about the whole thing with the comfort zone. Um, 
and I realized that I was I was in my comfort for quite a wide time. Um, you know, few like two weeks ago, I got back from the studio, and I was sitting like I would say close to eight hours on a painting that I'm painting on, and that was the number sixty hours. I was painting that day eight hours, but it was the number sixty hours on the same painting. So I was so I was talking to one one of the girls that I'm working with in the gallery in Mexico, and she goes, "Tomer, you didn't finish the painting." I'm like, "No," and I think I have like thirty more hours on a painting. And and I got back so frustrated. I'm like, it, it, it's crazy. It takes me so much time, you know, to finish a painting. Like I, I just want to say something real, you know, like because it's a painting, it's a language, it's something I want to say. So it takes me 60, 70 hours to say something. So it's kind of yeah. crazy. So said that's how the idea of 50 minute, 15 minute was born. But and tell me, um, tell me are, you, are you always? I mean, you look at, at your at your paintings. Yes. Uh, are, are you always content with what you see, or if you have a painting and then you you, you you know you finished it, and then after I don't know a month, two months, three months, you look at it and and you think to yourself, oh, I should have done better, or I should have, yes. Well, you know, it's the same like uh, like songs, you know, it's many times you write a song, you think it's good, and then, you know, after you, you hear it a couple of times, or after you don't hear it, and then, you know, you hear it again, and you say, okay, okay, you know, it, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the best, maybe I could have done better, I, 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 I should have, you know, maybe changed the words, or, or you know, the melody, so it's, I mean, I guess we're, but, we're in the but have you, have you, have you, have you record a song, mastered what? the song, posted, and then went back and fixed it? No, but I, I, I have a lot of songs that I, let's say I release them. And then when I hear them, I say, ah, I should have done it maybe differently. But I think it also has to do with the fact that, you know, in life, it's very dynamic. And, you know, we are also, you know, we're growing and we're changing. So obviously when it's I always say like me, the, my experience in painting was, you know, in high school, you know, we all experienced in painting. And I always said to myself that when you look at the painting, you never really know what the artist meant to paint. But it, it does, you know, it does ignite in you something, you know, it makes you feel something. And it's never, it's very, you know, subjective. You know, everyone can see something else and everyone, you know, everybody can feel something else. So I, I, guess, I, think, I guess it's songs, you know. Uh, I think in many cases, sometimes it doesn't matter what the artist is trying to say. It's about like what, what you guys are getting from, from what it has yeah. saying. And maybe, maybe he's trying to say something that you told you're not related to but you feel to something totally different. And I think that's what's amazing about art, that you can take it your own. Like you can take it, like the song you're writing, you can you can take it to your own story, you know, and then plan that on your own life, even though the artist meant to something else. But yeah, I, I, I agree. That was 15 minutes, bro. I love you, man. Love you, man. Love you, love you. Thank you so much for uh, for doing this so, with me, man. I feel so flattered and so 
thank you so much for thinking you know, of me for this uh, you know first chat and, and and I'm sure you know it's gonna it's, it's just the beginning of uh, you know great things and we're gonna be in touch and we're gonna let everyone know about it, about the, you know this uh, what, 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 what we're gonna do with the with the paintings and this we'll definitely let, let you guys know yeah right on man You're a big inspiration to me, man. I love you, love you, love you to death. And let's be in touch. And we'll be in touch with our followers and we'll show them uh, what we're about to do with a painting. For sure, for sure, brother.